Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what can you expect in love, what message does spirit have for you regarding love, and also we'll look a little bit at the person that you uh, are dealing with or will be dealing with. As always, keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, spirit, angels. For Libra, what do they need to know regarding love? What messages, what guidance do you have for Libra regarding love? What does Libra need to know regarding love? Libra? Okay, starting off with the Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. Judgment, sorry, I just hit the tripod. The star, Aquarius, the energy, four of cups, the knight of wands. Overall energy is the king of coin. You might be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aquarius is here as well. I feel like, I don't know, Libra, you keep having the same uh, type of message in terms of a specific person um, that wants to talk, wants to make a move towards you. Knight of Wands is here again, the star, hopeful energy, wanting to take some sort of action, especially with the Knight of Wands in judgment. It's almost like making a move in order to have a second chance or a revival of some sort. But Four of Swords and Nine of Swords is like no action, fear, you know, overcome by fear, paralyzed by fear, actually, when you put these two together. And the Four of Cups is like discontent, rejection, dissatisfaction. So let's get a little bit more insight into what's going on here. Any more about the energies for Libra? What does Libra need to know? Walking away, past life, okay, and secret admirer. So yeah, there's a separation, I think, between you and this person that this, it already took place. Some Sometime in the past, someone walked away. You or this person, doesn't really matter. Hidden feelings at the bottom of the deck. Very similar messages that you've gotten to other readings where someone has been wanting to express themselves. And if this reading resonates for you, Libra, Feel free to check out your playlist, which is linked in the description box. There are tons of videos there for your sign. And the recent videos that I've posted are in the same vein. Can I get one more? One more energy, please, for Libra. What do they need to know regarding these energies in love? What do they need to know? What does Libra need to know? house okay so this is about stability an actual home commitments similar to like the ten of pentacles so the king of coin is here i'm starting to think there might be like an interference but we'll clarify before i like jump to conclusions um it could be that this person king of coin house is kind of like trying to build up to this or show themselves to be this type of person, right? Someone very stable, someone that has something to offer you. I wanna use this. Okay, let's see what else we can get here. Can we get some clarity on what's going on here for Libra? Yeah. Let's start with this King of Coin. Why is the king of coin here? Why is the king of coin here? Six of cups. Yeah, this is somebody from your past, past soulmate. Also, the king of coin or the queen of coin with the six of cups, I instantly think of children because the king of coin is a provider and typically is already in a commitment. Can I get one more, please, for the king of coin? 
the higher font. Yeah, I feel like your person, Taurus energy there, your person might have been married or in a long-term commitment that could have caused a separation between you, or it could be that this person has aspirations, wants a Ten of Pentacles with you, wants commitment with you. We'll see. So I just started clarifying. So let me get one more, please, for this King of Coin. What do we need to know, Spirit? Well, this King of Coin. Six of Swords. Again, the energy of like making a move, the High Priestess, yeah. So it's, it's very similar energies. Um, this is somebody that I feel is making moves in secret, to having a departure of some sort, making like, you know, going, oh, there's a Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going after a new opportunity here. Three of Wands after that. Very slow going, this person, Five of Swords. Maybe because there's conflict preventing them from moving quicker. Let's keep going. Tell me about this star with the Nine of Swords. Why is a star here with the Nine of Swords? Page of Wands. So I feel like this person is hesitant to like take the initial steps, even though I think that's what they really want to do. They're hoping that this action, yeah, Eight of Pentacles and Page of Wands. So together, these cards tell me that this is someone that is very active or thinking in a very active way, but also being careful. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is someone that is very dedicated, focused. They put a lot of time and energy into something. Similar with like the King of Pentacles here. They're, they don't really like take unnecessary risks. So I feel like even though this person wants to like take initiative, you know, get out there, put themselves out there, do what they need to do. They're also being very thoughtful on how they do it. And especially here with Judgment and the Knight of Wands, Judgment is all about also looking back at the past, what you've learned from your past. Um, it could be that you're having some sort of realization from all of that you have learned or experienced. So it could be that, you know, things are just in motion here, kind of propelling someone to take action, but in a very careful way because they don't want to screw up. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Wow, death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, so I feel like there's, um because of the ending that you and this person had, Seven of Pentacles, yeah, there's doubts here. This person is expecting not to be received well. I also get that some of you have blocked this person. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and yeah, the Two of Swords. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting someone who has been very patient because of, you know, it's almost like while they've been away from you, they have been able to really think about things. And the more they think about what happened, the more they realize that maybe they're the ones to blame or maybe they're the ones that would need to come forward and be the one that asks for forgiveness. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Doubts over the future, Seven of Pentacles. Anxious about the outcome of something because of death, Scorpio energy there, because of the endings, because of what has happened. And it's like this person's thinking, well, how do I balance this out, temperance? What do I need to do? I need to take my time. I need to be patient. I need to be moderate. I need to, you know, be smart about this, you know, but I feel like at the same time, Two of Swords here is almost like, I, I picture this as you, very blocked, guarded energy. You could have literally blocked this person, or this person's like, you know, Libra is just not going to be open to this. Tell me about Temperance. Tell me about Temperance. Five of Wands, yeah, this this is about the conflict that is has already taken place, the drama, the difficulties that have already taken place. Here's Judgment again. So it's like they're thinking about this. They're thinking about how things ended. They're thinking about this departure that happened. They're thinking about the separation that probably already happened between you. Um, you know, how to come back from, from that. Yeah, there's the Five of Swords. I really feel like this person thinks that, you know, if they're this Five of Swords energy, they really screwed up. Like, Five of Swords energy is, you know, you're trying to win at all costs. 
You're playing dirty. You're not you're not being fair to another person. You might even be deceptive, you know, in order to get what you want, in order to win, right? So it's not the best energy, the five of swords. And especially with the five of wands, something definitely happened here between you and this person. Tell me about judgment and the knight of wands. Tell me about judgment and the nine of wands. What do we need to know about this? Sorry, what do we need to know about judgment and the knight of wands? The empress. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like the empress is um has a lot of worth. They have a lot of value. The empress also symbolizes growth. I think this is how they view you. Yeah, but they're on the outside. Five of pentacles. Another five here. You know, I, I think this person deep down, maybe they fear that they don't have anything to offer you. The Ace of Swords. Ooh, clarity, truth, information with judgment and you're just judgment again. This person's had a serious awake like serious wake up call. Serious clarity about you, how you end up looking at the end of the day, how they end up looking at the end of the day. How badly they probably screwed this up here. Yeah, the hermit. <laughs> this person has doing a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. The hermit is also someone that listens to their intuition. Very intuitive energy. There's a knight of cups. Yeah, it's almost like the more they look within, the more they're like, damn, I should apologize. Wow, look at all that. Look at everything that happened. Look at this mess I'm in. Or look at how things ended. You know, it's almost like they're realizing all of this now and it's almost worse <laughs> because maybe they waited too long maybe they got wrapped up in other things maybe you've moved on tell me more about this person what do we need to know about this person that libra is has or will be dealing with spirit what do we need to know about them wow the two of cups yeah Libra was the one for me. Libra is the one for me. That was a strong connection. That was a special connection. Secret admirer is here. So I feel like this person, you know, is they're still keeping tabs on you. What else do we need to know about this person? The sun. Oh my gosh. Once again, clarity. Clarity about this partnership. Also, this partnership makes me really happy. This partnership is my ideal be dealing uh, with a Leo too but I, I'm, I'm picturing more the energies that I'm getting with these two cards together like that is it, I feel like that's what your person's thinking about being with the person that makes them truly happy the world is at the bottom of the deck as well so it's almost like that's what I want moving forward you know that's what I want for my future tell me more about this two of cups and the sun there's that ten of pentacles you see is this is aspirational this is like what they want with you tell me about the two of cups and the sun and maybe they realized it too late that this is what they wanted tell me about the two of cups and the sun yeah the two of swords now they're stuck or they're they're um there's a wall between you Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Sun. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, decisions, weighing their options. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow, the Tower. Holy crap. Three of Pentacles after that. And the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, again, work, effort. I think this person also goes back and forth whether to reach out or not. Because maybe there was a Tower that happened between you. Whatever happened between you is a an obstacle. Can I get one more energy for this person? And I feel like this person is like, they're on the outside looking in at what they could have. Or they have this dream, this goal, this idea in mind of what their future could look like. And they're unable to reach it.
tell me more about this person's energy person that Libra is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person I don't want to lose you bottom of the deck I wasn't ready regrets regrets I wasn't ready I'm ready to open up after that because again this person there they haven't told you this whoever this is these are feelings that they've hidden um, definitely check out the previous readings if this resonates for you Libra because it's a continuation of that there's someone in your past and this could even be a past life connection that you know someone really screwed up back there <laughs> and you know that that could be but I'm getting more strongly that this is a person in your recent past that is not able to let go they don't want to lose the person that they are now realizing is the person for them so it's almost like is it too little too late i don't see this person reaching out soon i feel like they're working up the courage to do it with this knight of wands and judgment but i think what's happening right now in this present time is this realization this wake-up call they're getting a wake-up call about this connection and it's going to drive them to act that's what i see because they don't want to lose you for being dumb in the past for what happened in the past but you know it's it's difficult because things cannot move forward unless they show up right it's going to be up to them to see how badly do they really want this 